This is Walk From Home. This is episode one. I'm Steve Mangleshot. I'm the executive chef, and I'm going to cook you some fantastic food. Look, I've been in Wagon One for 20 years, and I've been out of our kitchens for three to four weeks now and struggling. I need my Wagon Mama fix, and hopefully, so do you. So, I'm going to cook some really cool food, and today we're going to start out with chicken katsu curry. So, here's some of the beautiful ingredients we're going to use today to cook our curry katsu. A quick hello from Winter, who's having a snooze, probably waiting for any of the stuff to drop on the floor. So, we've got some beautiful turmeric, we've got some curry powder, which is a mild curry powder. We've got some flour, which is going to help thicken the sauce. Uh, we have some caster sugar, soy sauce to help balance the flavours and bring out the seasoning of it. We have some fresh ginger, garlic, some onion that we're going to dice up finely for the start of the sauce. We have some beautiful coconut milk and we have some chicken stock, which I had in the cupboard. And then I'm going to use a little bit of chilli oil on mine just to give it a little bit of extra heat, but you don't have to. You can just use normal oil to cook with. Then coming over to our chicken, two beautiful fillets of chicken that we're going to slice in half and then we're going to flour, egg and breadcrumb, which is called a pane, um, which we do. I found some breadcrumbs luckily in the cupboard, so I'm going to do that. And then we have some nice salad. So that's the ingredients. I suppose now we better start making our sauce. So now we've started to soften our beautiful onions, our garlic, our ginger. We're now going to start adding our curry powder. So first we add in our curry mix, then we're going to add in our turmeric. We want them to start cooking down, releasing all their great flavours. Oh, if you could only smell this coming off of here. So there we go, we're going to let that sit. So a low heat or medium heat, just for it to release all its flavours. So the spices have cooked down, that flavour's coming out. Oh, it's exceptional, I can't wait. Now the flour's going to go in. So we put plenty of flour in. Because that's going to act as our, our roux, getting very chefy now, to actually thicken our sauce. So we put that in, we're going to give that a minute or so just to start mixing and cooking together with the spices. And then we're going to start adding our beautiful chicken stock. So here's our lovely chicken stock. All I've done is just water that down, that cube, that bit of powder. And then we're going to slowly start to add it, keeping the heat in there because we want it to start to thicken. And as you can see, it's like magic. We're starting to get katsu. And there we go, a little bit of stock at a time just to make sure we stir it out. Now with the coconut milk, we'll give it a little mix before we start. You can add as much or as little as you want. It says 100ml in the recipe, because we think that's a good amount. But you know what, if you like it really creamy, you can add more. So there we go, look, a little bit at a time, just mix that in. Oh, it's katsu heaven. Oh, you can smell the coconut now. Oh my Lord. I hope you're all getting hungry. A little bit, touch more, and we're done. So that's about 100 mil there or thereabouts. But again, not with our recipe. If you want to add more chili, more garlic, more ginger, you saw how much garlic and ginger I put in. I love those flavors. So the fact is for me, this is going to be my unique katsu and you can adapt it and make your katsu exactly how you want. That's the beauty of the recipe. So we're going to let that cook down and we're going to add a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of sugar. Just for a little touch of sweetness and a little bit of soy sauce. Just for that added bit of salt. Oh, look at that. So, I'm gonna show you a quick 101 on how we pan our chicken. So here's our chicken. We split the fillet in half. So first, a little bit of flour. Little bit of egg. And while we're doing that one, we can do this one. And then, in those beautiful breadcrumbs. Always keep 
one hand dry because then that helps you not covering your hand in breadcrumbs. So you're not going to fry your hand, hopefully not. Don't need loads of oil to deep fry it. So we're just going to make sure we've got a good heat. But be very careful when you're doing this at home. This is very risky to make sure you don't burn yourselves. So now you're getting a beautiful colour on the fillets. Just to make sure we're going to cook them nice and golden. We're getting cooked thoroughly all the way through. So now we've got the curry katsu has been working away for a little while now. It's got some beautiful flavour in there. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to strain it to get rid of the bits in it. Just to make sure it's lovely and smooth. So just passing that through a sieve a little bit at a time. So, just going to give that a little bit of a taste. Oh, if I say so myself, it's as good as Wagamama's. So, here we go, the final part of this magnificent dish. I'm gonna put it all on the plate and serve it to little Master Monty Mangleshot to see what he thinks. A little bit of rice on the plate. And you can use any rice, get packet rice, use fresh rice, basmati, short grain, sushi, whatever rice you can find, you can use. So, a little bit of chicken. Cool, it's like being back in the Wagamama kitchen. Let's give him, should we give him two, shall we? He looks hungry. And there we have it. Right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So a few leaves to the edge. This one I'm not gonna put any dressing on because I might get a few complaints. And then all we're gonna do is drench it in that great curry sauce. And there you go. One homemade, walk from home, chicken katsu curry. There you go, mate. Thank you. Dig in. Sure. Give us a try. Tell us what you think. What's the sauce like? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, good. It tastes exactly like So, chicken. there you have it, folks. Episode one, done and dusted. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As you can see, he's tucking in, he's not stopping, so it must be pretty good. That's how easy it is, just get your preparation done, get all your stuff around you, and then cook it. Look, if you can't find certain ingredients, don't, don't worry. Just try and do your best with what you've got around you. Good luck, and enjoy.